a new report spelling major trouble for Medicare and Social Security. Experts say the two programs are underfunded by a huge number, $175 trillion. That's almost two times the entire world's economic output. And while payments have increased in recent years, Social Security cash reserves are set to dry up by 2033, which will lead to massive cuts for Americans 65 and older, a demographic that increased by 35% this past decade. So it's all a squeeze. Here to react, FreedomWorks chief economist Stephen Moore. Stephen, thanks for being here. That's a number we can't even fathom. So $175 trillion underfunded over 75 years. Uh, what does that mean? Well, Pete, good to be with you. And this isn't something that just happened overnight. This has been something that people like myself have been warning about for over 30 or 40 years. Uh, we knew that the baby boomers were going to retire. I'm a boomer. I was born in 1960. I just turned 64. And we knew that, you know, the, the cohort of children behind them was fewer. And this has been a pay-as-you-go system. And here's the thing. I, Yes, these problems have huge financial problems, but for somebody like me and, and somebody who's in their 60s or 70s to, to say we're going to cut your Social Security benefits, I think Pete is unfair. I mean, I paid into this system every paycheck I got since I was 18 years old, 12% of my paycheck, and I getting a lousy you know, $2,000 a month benefit. Come on, if, I had, if we had put that money into a 401k plan, which is something I've always favored, I wouldn't be getting $2,000 a month, I'd be getting $10,000 a month, and I'd be able to say, you know, give my grandkids and kids a million dollars in benefits. So, no, we shouldn't be cutting benefits. Now, how did we get into this crisis, Pete? It's because Congress has been stealing the money mm. from Social Security and spending it on other, other, on other programs. Rachel, if, if you did that in the private sector and then you stole money from a pension fund, they'd throw you in jail. Yeah, and the reason they're stealing money from Social Security is because they're spending too much. So we got money going to Ukraine, exactly. we got money going yes. to the illegals. And so Exactly. So what's the solution? I mean, is there something like if you were advising say Mike uh, Mike Johnson, the speaker of the house, uh, you know, yeah. what would you tell Congress to do to solve this yeah. because you know, RT said we well, you know, what what seniors need to know, but I'm actually thinking me and Pete and our yeah, kids are just going to get zero. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so uh, it's a great question, Rachel. We ought to, starting tomorrow, allow every young person in America who's working. Oh, come Ooh. on. Just when he was going <laughs> to give us the answer. We ought to allow every young person who's working to do. Uh, what? We don't know. We're going to have him back because I'm telling you, I want to know the answer to that. I would also That's love to. That's a big to, tease. I've long wanted to opt out of Social Security. Me too. You know, it's actually a voluntary program. You can actually. Really? Opt well, technically oh, speaking, oh, there he is. He's back. Well, let's Maybe ask him that. Speculation. Go ahead, Stephen. I, I, I want to be clear about this. You'd, you'd still have to put 10 to 12 percent of your money into a saving account. In other words, it would be like a mandatory saving account. But you'd get, for every young person, they get much more money out of it. Now, Medicare, by the way, we haven't even talked about that, Pete and Rachel. That has even bigger problems. And it's such a joke because remember what they called Obamacare, the quote, Affordable Care Act? Do you think health care is affordable? Medicare has gone bankrupt because the government has so screwed up the health care system. I don't even know where to start with that. But I guarantee you, Obamacare made the system much worse. And Biden also, he, he stole a couple hundred billion dollars from Medicare to pay for all these other programs in the Affordable Care Act. So they're using Medicare and Social Security as a piggy bank to pay for all these other programs, Rachel, that you were just talking about. Yeah. You know what I think? I think we could solve Medicare by getting Americans healthy. And one of the things that I think yes. members of Congress should work on is talking about our food supply, GMOs, getting rid of all, you know, stop GMO. subsidizing, <laughs> stop set, stop setting, uh, uh, subsidizing ultra processed foods. We can, we can get healthy and solve that problem to some degree, but big pharma and big food want to sick and it ends up costing us a lot of money um so yeah. that's my that's my thought there i'm but. okay with that rachel as long as you don't take ice cream away from me that's not fine nope. natural ice cream i just had some last night i made some at home i like synthetic ice cream it's I really know. good I i'm steve Ducey. i'm brian Kilmeade. and i'm ainsley Earhart. and click here to subscribe to the fox news youtube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis